Nefisi was a young soul, but fragile. That afternoon, she was gathering red mushrooms in the Needle Valley. She saw a house with three floors, so she wanted to have a look inside. There were no stairs to the upper floor. Nafisi wondered why there were no stairs to the upper floor. Nefisi enjoyed rotating the statue, but didn't want to lose any time, so went back out. She had three more animal skulls to collect.
there were two amphoras. She had to put a total of four animal skulls on them in order to rotate them. Two skulls were on the east hills of the Needle Valley, while the other two were on the west. The keeper wouldn't let her into the cave. It would leave only when the two amphoras faced the right direction. Two more skulls. Thank you. 
Just one more skull was left to collect. She had collected all the animal skulls. It was time to rotate the amphoras.
She had to rotate that amphora until the skull of the innocent would face the end. She had to rotate that amphora until the keeper would be at nine of the longer skull. As the keeper flew away, Nefisi rushed into the cave. The passage would open after she jumped on all five platforms. She saw the maker of those strange sounds inside a dark temple. As she touched the heart, it suddenly died. Then a stairway appeared. She grabbed the orb and suddenly became stronger. The power that the orb gave to her was too great. 
From that day, Nafisi started collecting orbs. 